everyone. Thank you guys for tuning in to another video. My name is Emma and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a gallon man. But before we get to our gallon man, I want to say a special hello and welcome back to all our homework club kids. Hello and welcome back. And then after that, I want to do our positive action and our positive tip of the day. Today we're talking about our feelings of discouragement. So what is discouragement? It's when we allow fear or worry to control what we're doing. And that's not okay. We need to be able to face these situations and persevere. So an example of me being discouraged could be, I'm doing my math homework. I'm not understanding what's going on. The lesson in class didn't make that much sense. And here I am, not really getting it. It's not really clicking. I'm not really feeling encouraged to do my homework. I'm feeling discouraged to do my homework. And a way to persevere through that is by going into class the next day or emailing our teacher in this situation and saying, I'm not understanding our lesson on such and such. Can you please explain it to me? Maybe send me a video because we're at home right now and help me break it down in, in a way that I can understand. Of course, they'll say yes, they'll give you that material and you'll be able to persevere and understand your homework on a new level. All right, so now that we've talked about our feelings, let's move on to our science experience of the day, our gallon man. To make our gallon man today, we're gonna to be needing some supplies. I'll be using crayons to color coordinate, scissors, if you're wanting to cut out your gallon man, I personally will not be cutting mine out, but that is up to you. You're able to put these pieces together or design them together, totally for you to decide. I'm also going to use my pencil, and then I'm sharing with you the colors I'm going to be using to coordinate. Blue will be gallon, orange will be quart, green will be pint, and pink will be cup. So let's move forward and make our little man. Before we make our gallon man, it's important that we understand how he is made. So I've organized a flow chart starting with gallon, going all the way down to our smallest unit being cups to show us how we will construct our gallon man. So we start with the body, which is going to be a gallon, and from our gallon, we move down to quarts. There's gonna be four quarts in a gallon, and those are gonna represent the two shoulders and two thighs. Moving on to our quarts, we are going to get a set of two pints from each. Those pints are going to represent our lower legs and our arms on our gallon man. And then from each pint, we get another set of two cups, and those cups are going to represent our toes and our fingers on our gallon man. Follow along in the next video to see what happens. Sometimes we don't have the time to make Gallon Man, like on a test. So here's something that you can do to help you quickly remember everything that makes up a gallon. Write a giant G. And in our G we are going to place, you probably guessed it, four Qs. From our Qs, we then put two Ps in each.
And then in our P's, we put our C's. So C, 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 so on and so forth. So this is no gallon, ma'am, but it is pretty helpful in letting you know what goes in where and how everything fits. I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and joining us today. I had a blast making my gallon man and I hope you guys enjoy doing it at home as well. I also hope you enjoy our little added test tip. I hope it serves you well on your next test and I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video. Bye, thanks again for watching.